if I bump into him, I immediately shower. Hello there informed beauties. So today we're going to do something a little different. Um, I want to do something that is just fun. I want to kind of step out of the world of beauty and I want to do something that is kind of more so just like things that I do and share a little bit of myself with you guys. So on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, here is my handle. Go follow me. But if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I do post a lot of like funny things and it, I comment on things and all that like Instagram is it's hilarious in a lot of ways to me so what I did is that I went through and I bookmarked a few of the posts that caught my eye or just some things that made me giggle or something that made me have quite an opinion on so in this video today I'm just going to be kind of going through these I think it's about three to four posts that I just were like okay let's 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 talk about this let's let me give my opinion and share it with you guys and just make it fun and different okay I'm going to start from the first one that I saw going down and I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the screen here so you guys can kind of read along with me, okay? So this one is, my husband moved out yesterday because I refused to have sex with him. Initially, I made us wear masks and gloves during sex. <laughs> After the second time, he refused. We've not slept in the same bed since quarantine. We both work from home. We order our we order our food. We have not been outside since March. I explained to him social dis I explained to him social distancing is a is a must. Can't read. Um, I don't hug him nor do I kiss him. If I bump into him, I immediately shower. <laughs> I'm just trying to follow the rules. He don't agree. We've been married for five years and wanted to have our first child this year his 30th birthday was last week and we were in the house am I overreacting or is he and this morning when I read that I literally just put my phone down and I was busting up laughing like bye girl girl bye listen that is your husband okay if he has corona you already have it straight up you already have it. You're going to make him wear gloves and mask while you guys engage in sexual encounters. Like, you guys are already intimate. You guys have already been in each other's space. Like, that's your significant other, you know? And then you bump. Okay, first of all, you bump into him and you immediately go shower. Nah, homie. That, that sounds like there's something else going on as well. And I don't blame him. I would leave too. Like you're doing the most, especially the whole bumping into him. You might just go ahead and pack your bags and move out. Like it's it's doing way too way too much. Social distancing is for the people outside. Okay, you're supposed to keep your distance. People who are in a home like a couple, they're not gonna do that. That's just unrealistic. Like you're not gonna social distance in the house. Like, oh yeah, baby. Oh okay, but remember six feet. No and. To be honest, right now in this time and everything that is going on, a lot of people already feel um, alone. And do that to your own significant other when you already can't go see family and friends. That's just another moment of you having to like isolate yourself from people around you. So yeah, no, she's doing a lot there. And I don't blame him for leaving at all. Like, girl, stop. Matter of fact, let's read some of these comments real quick. Um, because the comment section is what always gets me going. The comments, the comments will crack your girl up. Oh my gosh. Um, so let's see. You getting a divorce. Sorry, somebody said. What kind of mess is that? I would have been out too. And then um, somebody said she wasn't tripping. She clearly doesn't rock with him like that. That was his fault for not seeing that before he married her. Like that, that, that right there. That 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 comment. You got some issues. You need to go and figure your life out. Um, and then somebody said she already knows the answer. Why even ask? Well played. Well played, Susan. Well played. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh. And then Smile says she clearly is not understanding social distancing. This is way over the top. If they're if they have been together for over a month, why is she afraid? Um, it sounds like no contact with anyone outside of home. Hell deliveries are left at door. Oh yeah, because she did say they deliver their food. So your food comes in contact with people. I cannot blame him. Gloves and mask on. What the hell? This pandemic has her losing it. So let me know what you guys think down below about that. I think it was a bit much. And I think a lot of people think it's a bit a bit much. Like, you wouldn't do that with your child. So why would you do that with your husband? Let me know what y'all think about that one down below. Let's move on to the next. So the next one is by this esthetician. It's an esthetician based Instagram so they talk about all things esthetician and so you guys know that I'm a waxer so of course I follow uh, I'll, I'll put it here so you guys can see it but it says things clients say during a wax appointment and I found this to be hilarious reading the comments had me dying but I put when a client gets on the table and they go and they say oh I'm bleeding only a little bit but my period is over <laughs> And then somebody, the girl or the person who owns the account uh, commented and was like, yeah, that's not how period work. And I was like, no. And then when you tell them to put a tampon in, they get upset. Like, excuse me for being sanitary. Because let me tell you guys something. Clients, a lot of times, they're like, oh, I'm just bleeding a little bit. But they'll get on the table and I'm like, no, you need to have a whole tampon on, sweetheart. You need a whole tampon. Don't get on this bed with blood everywhere. And then they get upset when you say that. And it's just like, no. I'm gonna read a few of the comments on this one. I feel like you had a firmer hold on my left nut because the right side hurts more. <laughs> I've never did a man, man Brazilian before. I don't know, I'm too, I'm not that comfortable with holding on to guys stuff down below, but people do it. Oh, look, somebody said, I just left the gym. And that is true. You get people who just came from like running or doing some type of exercise and they come in and get a wax. That's not how you're supposed to come in and get a wax. You're not supposed to come in to get a wax all sweaty and nasty. Ugh. And if I'm, I'm so oily, you guys. I'm sorry. Y'all know my skin does whatever it wants to do. Another one said, I left it long for you because I heard that makes it easier. Better to be long than too short, right? Sis, don't. Listen, no. I got, I've gotten that too. People come in with long, like, bikini hair. Oh, I heard it's supposed to make it easier. No, it does not. Because you're not getting the wax a lot of times down to the root. You're just putting it on the length and you're yanking that length. And that does not feel good. So, no. Grain of rice. Grain of rice. Okay. So let me guys know, let me know what you guys think down below. Are you guys estheticians? And if so, what is some things that clients say um, during a wax appointment? Or are you guilty of saying anything like these <laughs> when you go on your wax appointment? So let me know down below. Next one is the first, this is a quote. The first step of change is to become aware of your own bullshit. Now, I like this quote because it's like, you have to know when to take accountability. I think a lot of times people don't take accountability for their own bullshit. Um, but you have to take accountability for your own. And that's a major growth step. But when you're not able to do with your own BS and you're like, oh no, it's her, it's his fault. Oh, nothing's wrong with me. Everybody else around me and everything is, oh, that's broken. That's why I can't. No. Dig deep, baby. Dig deep, okay? So you have to definitely dig deep and um, be and to be aware of your own faults for you to have a major change, okay? I love that quote, actually. It's a very good quote. All right, next one. Stop chasing people if they block you, cut off contact, ignore you. Let them go. Let the people who naturally gravitate towards you enjoy your energy. Cherish the people who want to talk to you, who, wants, who want to see you, and who are there by choice. And this is a very good, good, good advice because a lot of people out there chasing people they don't need to be chasing. Like, every there are some people who really just want to feel loved, wanted, um, they want to fit in by any means. And if that means that you are being ignored or you are being used at a convenience, people will take that. But no, stop doing it to yourself, you know? I used to do that. I used to, 
you know stick around too long in relationships stick around too long in friendships you know because either you're going to think that person's going to actually start to see you and cherish you or you know you're thinking oh, okay yeah like if i'm better in this manner they will appreciate me more or they will treat me more and then they end or they treat me better and then they end up still treating you the same because they don't care they don't cherish you they don't value you you're not of importance to them so like no like learn that when somebody's giving you obvious signs that they don't want to be with you or they don't respect you they don't cherish you they don't value you it's time to pack your bag and move on and give your energy to those relationships that do matter okay and somebody got to hear it Okay, somebody got to hear it. So, girl, that you guys is just a little bit of something fun, something different. And if you guys like this video, I'll continue to do it. I just kind of like to share my opinion on these little things that I see on Instagram because I wake up a lot of times in the morning and just scroll and I'll be cracking up or I'll be like in the comment section like she knew she shouldn't have been doing you know like so just a little bit of fun something different hopefully you guys enjoy make sure to rate comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i will see you guys in a later video